Okay, welcome. We're going to be looking at submitting items to Virus Total to kind of see our responses. Okay, so it took a few minutes, but it finally popped up. We can do File, URL, or we can search for things. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and do File, because I want to look at my lab files. So, it already seen that this file was analyzed, and this is the last time it was analyzed. It happens to be that I was doing this in class a few hours ago, so we can reanalyze or we can view the last analyze. I always like to reanalyze because just in case something happened between now and the previous time it was analyzed, we're going to be able to find out. First of all, there is our SHA-256 hash, and also, this is the different antiviruses and the result. So, like Webroot found it as a W2 Gen.bt, Bitdefender didn't find it, Kapersky Malwarebytes didn't find it, Microsoft didn't find it, Panda didn't find it, where McAfee, Endgame, AVG, Semantic, Trend Micro, all of those found it. And we can also look at file details. The .txt, .rdata, .data, .relocation, their MD5s, the PID, kind of the additional metadata you can kind of see if it's good or not uh, it was voted more malicious we can look at its relationships its additional hash items so that was our DLL detection ratio 28 out of 64 antiviruses found it so we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to do the next one which is our lab 01-01-exe. Again, this was just done a few hours ago. I want to reanalyze it. I want to reanalyze it because virus definitions get updated regularly. So I want to make sure that if I'm looking at a piece of code today, it may not be found as a, as a virus or malware, where tomorrow it may. Okay, so lab0101.exe, there's the SHA value, 37 out of 64 uh, antiviruses showed that it was uh, a virus or Trojan, and here are the different versions, and again, Malwarebyte found it, McAfee found it, AVWare, Fortinet, ESET, Things like um, Bitdefender did not find it, Avast did not find it, Microsoft, Panda, Semantic Mobile Insight, none of those found it. And again, file details, you can look at the details, its data, our data, and data, its relationship, its different hashes, file size, file type, and that items. And that actually is this tool in a nutshell. You can always upload files or URLs to VirusTotal.com to check to see if they are valid or not. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in uh, below, and I'll try to get to answering them as quickly as I can. Thank you.